Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates today we bring latest update regarding Good news new changes implemented UK government EU states working on fresh proposal for youth mobility scheme with UK EU member states are working on an updated proposal for a youth mobility scheme with the UK after an earlier paper by the European Commission was rejected out of hand by Labour in April it has emerged. EU sources say the 27 countries hope to come up with viable negotiating points for Brussels in coming weeks to feed into the expected negotiations on a reset of EU UK relations being sought by the British Prime Minister, Keir Starmer. It is thought new proposals would also allow Starmer's team a fresh start on the issue, including a possible counter proposal, and minimize any political pushback by Eurosceptics. The conversation in EU capitals comes as the German Chancellor, Olaf Scholz, spoke of a lamentable decline in interaction with the UK's young people across the EU. The contacts between our societies, between Germans and people in the UK, have declined massively after Brexit and the COVID-19 pandemic. We want to change that. If you know each other very well you understand each other better, Schulz told reporters on Wednesday. The German ambassador to the UK, Miguel Berger, said it was vital that people understood that youth mobility had nothing to do with migration or free movement. We hear over and over the argument that youth mobility is freedom of movement when it is not, as it is based on visa requirements and limited time periods. People leave after a set time, he said. The German ambassador to the UK, Miguel Berger, said it was vital that people understood that youth mobility had nothing to do with migration or free movement. We hear over and over the argument that youth mobility is freedom of movement when it is not, as it is based on visa requirements and limited time periods. People leave after a set time, he said. Berger said youth mobility schemes were a bilateral competence but the 27 EU countries had agreed to go forward as a bloc, and were all keen to see opportunities resume for young people. One source in the UK said it was just not viable because there had always been an imbalance in the flow of students, with more EU citizens studying in the UK than British students in the EU. This created a disproportionate financial burden on British institutions, something they could not countenance in a youth mobility scheme, and even if EU citizens were allowed to study in the UK, there were still other barriers including the high cost of visas and the high cost of the NHS surcharge. We discussed the situation in Ukraine, as you would expect, the situation in the Middle East, bilateral issues in terms of trade and defense and security, but also the wider reset that I want in relation to our relations, not just with France, but with the EU in general, he said, they were the topics that we discussed as part of the reset rebuilding and making sure that our number one mission, which is growing the economy, is absolutely central to everything that we do, 